Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. hello. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. That's excellent. How was your weekend? Very right. good. Tired? Yeah. Good. Tired. Okay, someone said tired, someone said good. But um, good evening. How are you today? Okay, I hope that you have enjoyed your weekend. Uh, did someone do something interesting on the weekend? Nobody? Nadie. Como teachers? Did you do something interesting in the weekend? No, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, what did you do, Oscar? <clears throat> what did you do? Uh, well, I, I, I went with a Primero voy a ensayar en mi mente. <laughs> no, si va bien, Oscar. <laughs> no. I went to the beach. <laughs> oh, you went to the beach. Where? <laughs> no, I think on... I went where? My girlfriend. Oh, you went to visit your girlfriend. That's excellent. And you went to the beach, Osmar? No, they say I think on Palacio went to the beach. No, oh, okay. Cool. I I I was working. Oh, you you were working Saturday yeah. and Sunday, the two days. Yeah, yeah, teacher. Oh wow! And yeah. the rest of you? The rest of you? Los demás que hicieron. I was working. You were working too, Irene. That two days, Saturday and Sunday? Yes, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, wow. Well, I was checking on you guys, on your grades, and I said that most of you have finished the flat plan, which is an excellent job with very satisfactory grades. And I also saw that some of you are still pending with the section five and the final exam. Acuérdense que esta semana es la última semana de clases y necesitamos tener completita la plataforma. ¿Verdad? Ya casi, ya casi terminamos. So, si están pendientes, acuérdense que hay que trabajarlo. Uh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta antes de comenzar. O oh, empezamos ya. Yeah. Okay. okay, so let's start with the video about uh, how to form. Uh, we've been discussing on how to form statements uh, with regular and also with irregular verbs. And now we're going to watch the video on how to form the simple past just yes, no questions. Uh, let me share the audio with you guys so you can listen. Yes, teacher. Okay. Practice making questions and answers. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice it's a slow teacher. illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. Is that a slow for everybody? Yes. <clears throat> yes, it is. Okay, let me see. Okay, but it's in normal. Está como normal la velocidad. Let me try again. Let's listen. 
wide sky and practice. Y ahora? Did you like it? So, so. So, did you go I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. No le escuchan aún. Yes. Si se escucha, se ve bien. Yes, teacher. Vamos a ponerlo otra vez. Un poco suave, pero escucha. Questions. Si bien raro, porque de mi parte, en mi equipo, está todo el volumen. Oh, vamos. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. Let's listen and practice. Hi, good evening. Good evening. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes-no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a compliment and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did, then extra information is given, I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a compliment and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making 
questions and answers about it. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so um, was the video clear or do you have any question about how to form the questions? The yes, no questions in the simple past? Okay, no questions? Okay, so um, before I move to anything else here and before I forget it, I'm going to check attendance. So please, if you can do me the favor, can you please turn on your camera so we can um, uh, check attendance? I see my sis, thank you. And the rest of you? Okay, I don't know if you're having any issues with your, remember that those classes are being audited by in support. So in order to avoid inconvenience, it's better to follow the, the rules and procedures. Okay, so I'm going to check attendance. In a while. Okay, uh, let's see. Ana Trinidad. Present. Thank you. Andrea Estefanía. Present. Thank you. Candida Janet. Present, teacher. Okay. Dinora Estela. Present. Thank you. Diomesis Tito. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin de Jesus. Present, teacher. Okay, Emily Yamilet. Present, teacher. Thank you. Emma Tatiana. Present. Thank you. Eric Jonathan. No, here. Irving Norberto. Present. Okay. Joanna Selina. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Jorge Alberto. Juan Daniel. Carla Maria. Present, teacher. Juan Daniel. Okay, thank you. Juan Daniel. Okay, Carla Maria. Moises Eduardo. Present. Okay, okay, Lee de Jesus. Oscar David. Osmel Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Present. Okay, René Eliseo. Uh, Reina Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Y Rosa Guadalupe. No está Rosa. Sara y Beatriz. Present. Okay. Walter Giovanni. Present. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much. So we can continue with the next part. You wanna share my screen? So what we already watched on the video is how to form the yes, no question. As we have studied before, uh, just no questions are the ones that we can give a short answer and that's it. We also listen to the conversation, right? Uh, do you have any question about the conversation or the vocabulary here? No questions? 
Um, what the meaning why right why water white water rafting is the name of this sport white water rafting es el nosotros creo que comúnmente solo le decimos rafting que es esto que ellos se montan en una balsa inflable y se meten en aguas en las corrientes de los ríos como Okay. Hiking, no sé si se pronuncia. Hiking. Hiking, exacto. Ajá, hiking es, es como ir a caminatas, hacer caminatas. Uh -huh. Hiking. Caminatas en como en volcanes, en, en, en montañas, bosques, that's hiking. De alto. No, de altura. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Any other question? All right. So let us practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. So, did you go anywhere last summer? So, so did you go anywhere, anywhere, last, anywhere last summer? Last summer? Oh. Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Yes, 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 I did. My I sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Can really? Did you like it? Really? really? Did you like, you like, it? You like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Oh, oh yes, yes. yes. We, yes. Love we love it. 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 Love it. Did you go hiking there? Did you go, Did you go hiking, 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 there? hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. No, no we didn't. We rode horses and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Colorado River. On the Colorado River. 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 Rebirth. Wow, did you have fun? Wow, wow. did you have wow. fun? Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Yes, yes we, we did. did. We, yes. did. We, we had a great time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move on to the next exercise. So as we practice here, It's a simple past yes, no questions. Como decíamos, verdad, las yes, no questions en simple past van a comenzar con el auxiliar did. Para todos, sea primera, segunda, tercera persona, todos van a empezar con did, si es una yes, no question. Luego el sujeto, luego el verbo, y aunque estemos en pasado, el verbo va a ir en tiempo que presente, simple. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tenemos el auxiliar indicando pasado. Luego, el complemento y finalmente el signo de pregunta. Eh, esa es la estructura a seguir cuando estemos usando uh, yes, no questions in simple past. Let us repeat. Did you have a good summer? Did you have a good summer? summer? A great summer. Os mel deje de travesear. Yes, I did. I have a great summer. Yes, yes I, I did. did. I, I have, have a great, great summer. summer. Did you play volleyball? Did you, did you play, play volleyball? volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. No, no, no I, I didn't. didn't. I, I didn't play. play tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Okay. Yes, yes, she did. She, she did. did. She liked it a lot. a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay, so 
Based on what we studied, let us complete the conversation and then we are going to complete it. Vamos a completar esa conversación con lo que hemos eh, estudiado, ¿verdad? Ahí vamos a poner en práctica lo que vimos respecto a las oraciones afirmativas, oraciones negativas y en las preguntas. Por ejemplo, lo primero ya está hecho. Dice, did you have a good summer? Para contestarlo diríamos, yes, I, I did. I did. Ajá, le vamos a agregar, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Y luego del did, I, had. I had. I had. had. Ajá, had. vamos a I pasarlo had. a pasado. I had a had. great a summer. Great. Está haciendo una oración Ajá. afirmativa, entonces pasamos el verbo a pasado. I had a great summer, so I just... Relaxed. 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 Uh -huh. relaxed. Relaxed. Yes, relaxed like this. Uh -huh. Okay, so continue with this and number two. Irving, ¿nos puede escribir las respuestas del número dos? Escríbales en el chat, por favor, ¿cómo quedarían? Did you go, uh -huh. did you go anywhere last summer? No, I. Hmm. Ok, ahí nos quedaría la pregunta. Ajá. Y la respuesta sería, no, I didn't. Punto. I stayed. stayed. Yes, I stayed here, but my friends. Damos la respuesta. Visited me. Excellent. And on the weekends, we... We didn't... We went out. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Now, number three, le vamos a dejar a, al compañero que elija quién nos va a dar las respuestas. Irving, seleccione a alguien para que siga con el número tres. Edwin. Okay, Edwin, help us with the number three, please. Edwin, okay, Edwin. Number three, ¿cómo empezaríamos con la pregunta, Edwin? Escríbanoslo en el chat, por favor. Did you, ajá, uh -huh. y el verbo? Thank you. Are you sure, Edwin? Ajá, uh -huh. take. Uh -huh. El verbo lo vamos a poner normal porque es una pregunta. Did you take any classes last summer? Ok, Edwin. Yes, I did. Excellent. Punto. Y ahora es una oración afirmativa. Dice I. ¿Cómo quedaría el verbo, Edwin? Uh -uh, ese es irregular. Moisés, ¿cómo queda ese verbo? Moisés, escríbalo, por favor. Talk. Ajá. No, 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 no. Took. Ajá. Emma, es took. Ajá, uh -huh, Walter, yes, I took tennis lesson. 
And I, Eric. ¿Cómo quedaría el play, Eric? Eric. Ajá, uh -huh. played. Excellent. Con ED, I played. Very good, Edwin. Uh, Eric, la primera que escribió. I played. Ok, así nos quedarían las respuestas del 3. Ahora, number 4, Joanna. Uh -huh. Did you? Uh -huh. Joana escribió, did you? Acuérdense que en pregunta, el verbo. Ajá, uh -huh. speak, ajá, uh -huh. nos quedaría did and speak. El verbo lo dejamos así porque es pregunta, did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't. Ana, Ana Trinidad. Ajá, uh -huh. no, I didn't. Ajá, uh -huh. vale, no, I didn't. Aquí, y el otro. But mm -hmm. I, uh, I don't remember past read. It's irregular. Es irregular. ¿Qué dijimos de este? Se escribe igual. Read. Se escribe igual. igual. Siempre se escribe read, pero Siempre. se pronuncia como. Acuérdense del Rod. color. Rod. Ajá, se pronuncia red. Red, English. Ah, red. I read, ajá, la pronunciación es lo que cambia con read, el read. read, ajá, read en presente y en pasado se pronuncia read, read. pero se escribe igual, okay. solo la pronunciación cambia, ajá, muy bien, ahora terminemos, Cándida, ¿cómo sería? I read English book and I... Watch English movie. Ajá, uh -huh. and I watch con ED al final. I watch, I watch English movies. Very good. Muy bien, buen repaso. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. And we will continue with the next slide. In the next slide, we have a, an exercise. En este ejercicio es similar a lo que acabamos de hacer. Vamos a practicar todo. Las um, oraciones afirmativas, negativas. Eh, tenemos las yes, no questions. Okay? Acuérdense que en las oraciones afirmativas vamos cambiando el verbo, ¿verdad? Si es regular, pues le aplicamos las reglas de spelling. En oraciones negativas usamos el didn't, auxiliar did not, didn't. Y luego el verbo se pone en su forma regular. Didn't y luego play. Ahí no modificamos, ¿verdad? Y tampoco vamos a modificar el verbo en las preguntas. Porque en ambas estamos utilizando auxiliar. Y habiendo hecho este pequeño repaso, vamos a tratar de completar las respuestas de este ejercicio. Si gustan, solo pueden ver eh, o analizar cuál sería la respuesta y escribirla por ahí en un cuadernito. Si dice not, es porque la vamos a hacer en negativo. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo quedaría...? La, eh, la número dos. He usually walks to work, but he didn't. Didn't walk. 
walk. Ajá. Vamos a usar el auxiliar did not y el verbo tal y como está aquí. But he didn't walk to work yesterday. Y así van a ir, pongan nada más número 3, 4, 5 en su cuadernito. Si no lo han impreso el material, pongan en su cuaderno los números y cómo quedaría la respuesta. Y les voy a dar un par de minutos y luego chequeamos.
Okay, let us uh, share what you did. So number two and one, they were already done. Let's see number three. Can you read the number three and write the answer, Oscar? Oscar, can you give us the answer for number three? Excuse me, estaba apagado el micrófono. <laughs> no I was word. really surprised when my friend cooked dinner. Okay, can you write the answers in the chat? Ah, in the chat. Yes, please. Solo okay. las respuestas. ¿Cómo escribió los verbos? Could you do it, Oscar? Uh, surprise. Uh, okay, and cooked. Ajá, uh -huh. solo surprise. Tendría que agregarle algo por ahí. No. La D, ajá. Uh -huh. Thank you, Oscar. Let's continue. Um, Emma, can you continue with number four? Did you order your food? Yes, we did. Okay, good job. Only the order sería normal sin a ed porque como es ah, sí, sí, sí. yes, then the next editor, it's okay. Let's continue with number five. Eh, eh, ¿Quién no ha participado? Déjeme ver. Dinora Estela, number five. No estoy segura si está Dinora. Vamos, Moisés, number five. Eh, aquí estaba, Tisher. Ok. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're going to check the answers here. Uh, está siendo un poquito difícil. No sé si están de verdad o no, but it's been kind of difficult. Uh, chequear así. Um, so let's move on to the next exercise. Okay, uh, the listening is I didn't go anywhere. So we're going to listen and check what did the rest of the people do. Okay, so uh, listen, and if you have the material printed, you can check it there. And if not, you just can check uh, and write the names of the person and make like a little chart. Pueden dibujar un pequeño cuadro en su eh, cuaderno, escribiendo los nombres de las personas y luego eh, chequeando las um, los cuadritos de qué es lo que hicieron. Veamos las actividades. Tenemos Andy, stayed home, visited his brother, and went to the beach. After that, we have Gail, saw movies, read books, and watched TV. 
of Patrick went bike riding, went swimming and played tennis. Well, Frank, we have worked in the yard, got a job and painted the house. So we're going to listen to the conversations and you will check the correct answers. Okay, I'm going to share the screen with you. I don't know. Can you see the screen? No. No. Okay, let me try it again. Listening. Okay. Uh, can you see now? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, teacher. Okay, so we're going to listen and you check the correct answers. Let me share the audio. Yes, it's set to share. Page 96, exercise 9, listening. I didn't go anywhere. Listen to Andy, Gail, Patrick, and Fran. What did they do last summer? Check the correct answers. 1. Hello, Andy. Did you have a good summer? Oh, I had an okay summer, I guess. I visited my brother in Vancouver. That's nice. Did you go to the beach? No, I didn't. It rained all summer, so we usually did things indoors. 2. Hi, Gail. How are you? Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. Thanks. I just relaxed. Did you see any good movies? Movies? Well, no, but I read a lot of good books. 3. So, Patrick, did you do anything interesting last summer? Oh, yeah. You know how I love sports. I played tennis and rode my bike every day. Tennis and bike riding? You're a really good athlete. Yeah, well, I try. 4. Did you have a job last summer, Fran? Well, no, but I did a lot of work. What do you mean? Did you get a job? No, but my parents and I painted our house, and I worked in the yard a lot. Page 96, Exercise 9, Listening. I didn't go anywhere. Listen to Andy, Gail, Patrick, and Fran. What did they do last summer? Check the correct answers. 1. Hello, Andy. Did you have a good summer? Oh, I had an okay summer, I guess. I visited my brother in Vancouver. That's nice. Did you go to the beach? No, I didn't. It rained all summer, so we usually did things indoors. 2. Hi, Gail. How are you? Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. Thanks. I just relaxed. Did you see any good movies? Movies? Well, no, but I read a lot of good books. 3. So, Patrick, did you do anything interesting last summer? Oh, yeah. You know how I love sports. I played tennis and rode my bike every day. Tennis and bike riding? You're a really good athlete. Yeah, well, I try. 4. Did you have a job last summer, Fran? Well, no, but I did a lot of work. What do you mean? Did you get a job? No, but my parents and I painted our house, and I worked in the yard a lot. Okay, so what did Andy do? What did you get? Visited his brother. Visited his brother. 
visited his brother. What about Gail? Uh, red, wow. book. Red, books. red and book. Red books. Patrick? And play, and play tennis. tennis. Play tennis. tennis. Went, went by readings. readings. Went by readings. Uh, hmm. What about Frank? Worked in the yard. In the yard. Yeah. 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 Painting the house. Painting the house. Ok, vamos a ver qué tan bien fue con el listening. Ok, Andy visited his brother. Number two, Gail read books. Excellent. Patrick went bike riding and played tennis. And Fran worked in the yard and painted the house. So congratulations. You yes. did a very, very nice job with the listening. So um, that was cool that you could do it. So... Um, very good with the listening. Now, before we move on, ¿tienen alguna pregunta o este? Pues tengo que chequear asistencia otra vez, pero antes no sé si tienen alguna pregunta. No questions? No questions. No questions. Ok, so vamos a ver con los que no estaban. Porque si veo que ya hay más ahora. Eh, Eric Jonathan. I am here. Ok, gracias. Que se nos pudo unir. Jorge Alberto. No está Jorge Alberto. Ok, veamos si. O Kelly de Jesús. No, Kelly. René Liceo. René Eliseo, tampoco. Y Rosa Guadalupe. Rosa Guadalupe, tampoco. Ok, entonces solo uno más se nos unió. Ok, that's... Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. ¿Su nombre, perdón? Carla María Chitas. Mm, veamos, Carla María. Mm. Sí, Carla María no estaba, estaba como con cero aquí, pero ya le puse present. ¿Alguien más que quiera chequear? Yes. Gracias, Carla. ¿Sí? ¿Alguien más? Ok. Ok, thank you so much. Ok, we will continue. If you don't have any questions, we move on. No preguntas. No questions? No question, teacher. Okay, uh, to finish this, we have the summer activities. Uh, this is a video that we have in the platform. The reading exercise is the last thing about the unit number four. So, ya vamos a entrar a la unidad cinco. Este es el último ejercicio de la cuatro. Let's watch it and then we're going to develop the reading exercise. Vamos a ver. Watch your sound. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills, reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article titled, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. 
I am so tired. Erin. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay, that was the reading. Ya con esta lectura terminaríamos la sección eh, cuatro. But I would like to know if you have any questions in regards. De mí se volvió a poner esa cosa. Let me stop it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, do you have any question about that exercise? Of the reading? No sé si están viendo mi pantalla porque estoy intentando compartir. Bye, no, no. No, 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 teacher. No, ¿Y ahora? Yes. Oh, yes. Ok, so. Todavía no. Está cargando. Ok. Ya se ve, teacher. Ya se ve. Okay. Yes, teacher. Um, yes, teacher. Okay, so we have the word power in the summer activities. Uh, we have to put them together, I think. Um, let's try. Uh, we have to put, find the two words from the list and uh, to decide which one goes with what, with which verbs. Por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo go. Sabemos que go significa ir. 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 Entonces con go podríamos poner hiking y swimming. Go hiking, go swimming. Have. ¿Cuáles pueden ir con have? A class, a picnic. Have a picnic. El otro está un poquito como no, no es, uh, para nosotros suena dif diferente por, por, por lo mismo de, de nuestro español, pero divertirse en inglés cuando decimos fun. Have, have, fun. have fun. Entonces con have vamos a escribir fun, have fun y el otro have a picnic. Esos dos irían con have, have fun. Have a picnic. Les voy a dar un par de minutos para que hagan los demás. Meet, play, see y take. Con estas palabras. Mm. Y luego vamos a revisar.
let's check your word. Meat. What do you have with meat? New, new people, old friends. friends. New, people. new people and old friends. Excellent. Play. Tennis, Tennis and volleyball. Tennis and volleyball. See? A movie, a movie, a movie, a play. A picture. A, a, picture. a movie and a Big play. Movie. Very good. Take. A picture. Pictures. Picture, Take um, pictures. E. Cla a, class. a class. A class. Excellent. Take a picture and <laughs> class. Uh -huh. Okay, so the next activity that you hear, see here is to check six things that ask a partner. Podrían ser seis cosas se preguntarle a alguien eh, si hizo en su vacación pasada. Did you y esta que está acá y luego last summer. Por ejemplo, did you go anywhere interesting last summer? Hacerle esas preguntas a un compañero o compañera de clases. Did you go anywhere interesting last summer? Podemos empezar con esa. Vamos a hacerle la pregunta. Um, veamos. Osmel, did you go anywhere interesting last summer, Osmel? Yes, teacher. I went to Honduras. Okay, excellent. Did you buy anything interesting? Mm, yes, teacher. I. I. Y el verbo pasado comprar. ¿Cuál es el pasado de comprar? Buy it. Buy it. Boat. Ajá, yeah. ese es irregular. I, I bought. Yeah. I bought roquilla. <laughs> ok, it... interesting. Delicious. Now, yeah. well, hágale la primera pregunta a alguien. Did you go anywhere interesting last summer? Y después cualquiera de estas. Con el did no. you in last summer. Ok, teacher. Wait. Um... Diomesis. Diomesis, did you go any, anywhere interesting last summer? Uh, yes, uh, go. I went. A uh, playa. Oh, you went to the beach. I went beach. to the beach. A playa. Juego. Oh, you went to a play. Or you went uh, to play. To play. No, you went to play. Oh, you went to no, play. I went to play. Mm -hmm. Second uh, question, Smell. Did you? Did you buy anything interesting last summer? Your message, did you, did you buy anything buy interesting, interesting last summer? Um, get a boy guess. Comprar. Comprar. A comprar. Boy. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Book. I bought. ¿Qué compro? Eh, a book, libro, o sea, libro, book. Uh, I bought a book. A book. A book. Okay, very good. Eric, did you, did you go anywhere interesting last summer, Eric? Last summer... Yes, I I went to the beach. Okay. Um, did you take any pictures last summer? Did you take any picture last summer? Yes, I take a picture. Yes, I. I take taken 
Mm -hmm. What is the past of take? Took. 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 I took a pictures. Okay, very good, Eric. Um, next to question, Eric, pregúntele a alguien más. Uh, Emma. Emma, do you go anywhere interested last summer? Um, I go in beach. Oh, you went to the beach, okay. Oh, I went to the beach. Second question. Did you buy anything interesting last summer? Uh, I buy, mm, no. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, thank cool. you. So uh, thank you for joining today. Um, it was nice, but tomorrow we will practice more speaking. Vamos a practicar más speaking con esto el simple past para que sigan jugando así con los verbos y verdad si es afirmativa, negativa, etc. So thank you for joining today's section. Um, I won't take more of your time, so go to sleep. I hope you have a nice rest. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. See, See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.